Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. Before I get into this round of ammonia tests, I want to try something new. If you remember from the last couple of videos, a number of people have been asking for nitrite and nitrate tests. So I have been running, along with the ammonia tests, nitrite tests. But instead of just uh, giving the results in a video, which I will probably be doing in some time in the near future, uh, I want to try and post it as a poll. I've been looking into doing these anyway, and I think I figured it out. So sometime in the next day or two, I'm going to post this question, and that will be, do you think there is going to be a spike in nitrite as these tests progress? And of course, it's going to be yes or no. And I'm going to, this is my trial run of this just to see how it all works out. So let me know if that sort of thing interests you because I can definitely do polls for future videos and all that sort of stuff as well. And it's just an interesting way of, you know, incorporating what you guys think into this and also to get your feedback on something or what you think might happen in this particular case. And it might be something interesting. So we'll give that a go and we'll see how it works out. So undergravel filters if you remember from the original undergravel filter test i used my original undergravel filter the one i had made within the corner and i had tested it and then i had run out of ammonia test kit i think it was in day three and at that point of course it had not uh, removed the ammonia and then it took forever for it to come back in and just on a whim i tested the tank and i think it was day 22 and there was still ammonia in it, which was quite the shock. So I knew I had to retest that. So the first retest, though, is going to be with this filter here. This is my upgraded version of the undergravel filter. It has a few new bells and whistles. If you want to check those out, definitely go and have a look at the video. But I think the most important thing here is the lift stack is in the middle instead of in the back corner. So I started doing these tests, and I've got the results. They're going to be coming out shortly. And then, of course, after I got those results, I had to uh, <laughs> I had to go back and obviously retest the original as well to make sure if those were uh, you know valid results as well. So I've done both of those, and the results are quite interesting. I actually am kind of surprised by how this all turned out. But anyway, it'd be easier for me just to show you how this all worked out, and then you guys can let me know in the comments below what you think is going on. So to say the least, moving into the second round of testing for the undergravel filter, I was a little anxious, I guess. I really like undergravel filters. I have a fair number in the fish room, and I think they're great, and I've never actually ever had any issues with them at all. And those initial results were, besides being unexpected, it just didn't make any sense to me. There's no reason why an undergravel filter with the vast amount of surface area that they have should not be able to deal with the amount of ammonia. Now, obviously, this ammonia test is not within the normal realms. I mean, obviously, a filter is not going to you know, meet this sort of level of ammonia because everything in the tank would be dead. Uh, so it is a little unfair that way. But considering how all the other filters did, I expected the underground filter to at least compete with those within a reasonable margin of error. But 22 hours, sorry, 22 days was just a ridiculous amount. So here we are now, we're at the two day mark and I am beginning to see a bit of a drop off in the ammonia. So at this point I was beginning to relax a little bit because I think that the original test at this point was an aberration, which is unfortunate as well because that means maybe there's a little bit of a problem with my test protocol. I mean, the way I'm doing these things uh, just may invalidate all the results. So I'm happy in one sense because the undergrowth filter you see here, uh, the new version of course, is obviously at the three day mark, pretty much on par with all the other filters. I mean, the planter filter did a little bit better than this, but this is three days and I was gonna test at the three and a half day mark because that is pretty much where all the filters have reached zero. And as it turns out, this one does as well. I mean, it is nice and clear. 84 hours in, and uh, like I said, at this point I'm very happy because, well, the underground filter works. I mean, it should work. I mean, <laughs> these results are fine. But now I have the problem. The problem is what happened in that first test. So I need to redo 
the original underground filter without any of these changes I've made. Uh, hopefully there were improvements and that's the reason why this has gone down. But let's find out. Let's get into that. So here is the original underground filter. This is my homage to how underground filters used to be way back when I first started getting into fish keeping with the lift stack in a corner. And of course this would be oriented uh, at the back of the aquarium with the lift stack in one of the corners. Now this is also, if you're paying attention, the original footage I made for this, I had forgotten to re-record uh, the, the new uh, cleaning and whatever and uh, the new setup for the filter. Uh, that doesn't really matter because it actually doesn't really look any different except I think I cleaned the lift stack a little bit better. But that, again, doesn't really matter. Now after this test, <laughs> and you'll understand why by the time we get to the end of this, I am going to retest this one more time. Probably not uh, right away, but I want to move the lift stack into the middle to see if that is the entire uh, reason for the outcome of this. I mean, I'm probably just giving away the results right here and right now, but uh, I want to see if that is it because I did make some other improvements on the, uh, the, you know, the new one with the different plate underneath and how it is uh, stuck in place and a bunch of other stuff. So that may also have affected it. So what I want to do is move this lift stack into the middle, uh, change nothing else, leave the same material and everything else, and have that all set up and running. And then after I do uh, the planter test, which is next, and then a couple other things I have planned, I want to redo this one more time and see if I can improve upon the results. And as you might guess, uh, <coughs> the retest for this, well, it does one thing for sure, it validates the results uh, for this experiment. I'm getting consistent results, which is very important because if, uh, if it is all over the map, if I am getting results uh, one time and then a significant difference the next time, that means there's just no point in continuing this because that would mean that something in the whole process of what I'm doing here uh, is just causing uh, issues and variations that uh, you know can't be explained. But anyway, that is not the case. Uh, so far, everything I've retested, which is not a lot, I must admit, uh, has proven to be the same as the original results. Which means uh, this is going to continue on. I only did it for six days, though, because uh, I do want to get on to a lot of the other tests. And if I ran this for 22 days, it'll be a long time before uh, I got on to anything else. So I thought six days was enough, uh, and at the end of six days, uh, you can, well, it is going to look like this. There's no change. There's no drop off in the amount of ammonia. And that in itself still kind of concerns me a little bit because this was on an aquarium. It is it was a 30 gallon aquarium and I never had any issues with the tank. Uh, the fish all did fine. The plants grew nicely. Uh, so it is, like I said, an interesting result, and I'm uh, most interested to hear in what your opinions are on what you think might be going on in this particular underground filter. Uh, there could be any number of causes, and I will definitely be checking into it a lot more, as I said earlier in the video, and we'll see how it all goes. So next up is going to be the planter filter, the new um, uh, algae scrubber slash uh, planter filter I'm making. The one where my phone died, and I do have that footage now, so I am going to put that up for Friday. And then I'm going to move on to the two-stage box filter retest, and hopefully next week I'll have the results for both of those for you. If they continue, it should be about a seven-day cycle between tests, because there are about three and three and a half days for each one. So hopefully I can get two done a week, and we'll uh, keep going until we run out of filters. So as always, if you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe. Always leave comments. I'm most interested in those. And as you can see here, we are getting up to 120 hours. And really, there is no drop-off. That is the part that um, made me realize that at six days, there was just really no point in continuing this. If it were beginning to fade, if there was enough of a significance in clarity or whatever drop in color to indicate that it was uh, going to eventually get there within, like, say, 10 days or whatever... I probably would have continued this a little bit more, but here you are, 144 hours in, and it doesn't look like it's changed at all. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Leave lots of comments, and I will see you in the next video, and bye for now.